the most challenging problem in drug discovery is picking targets. Uh, it is very difficult to get from a disease phenotype to understanding the biochemistry, or even modeling, the biochemistry that might be responsible. The better that we could define the regulatory circuitry that controls biological behavior, first within cells, ultimately within organs, perhaps within tissues, later within organisms, the better we would be able to identify targets. And also our tools would give us the capability of measuring interventions, the, the impact of our interventions, potentially even right into the clinic. Once that became clear, I was eager to build all those, to add to ICON all those skill sets that would enable us to do that kind of work. And that's exactly what we've done. ICON was founded on the technology of single molecule tracking because we reasoned that single molecule tracking will be a new modality of measuring protein motion in the cellular environment. Most protein activity measurements are reductionist in that they monitor protein activity in an isolated biochemical setting. By looking at protein activity directly in the cell, we build out the complexity of the cellular environment and the interactions that protein normally has. How it all works here at ICON is we have cross-functional teams. We facilitate ad hoc conversations between all of the dis disciplines within the cross-functional teams, and that allows us to come up with very diverse solutions, both engineering solutions, but also science solutions. So there are many chemistry challenges in drug discovery, and ICON has a very unique approach to um, addressing those challenges. So the first thing that I think is most important is we have in-house chemistry labs, so analytical process and medicinal chemistry labs in-house. And that allows us to rapidly jump into the lab and solve any uh, problems that arise. We have a significant advantage here at ICON in that the people that are going to use the creations that we make are sitting, you know, just feet away from us. And so what that really allows us to do in practice is to really accelerate the whole process. So ultimately we get in this nice iterative loop where the chemists are making new molecules, our uh, teams in quantitative biology are testing those molecules and then getting information back to the chemist saying, the changes you made to that compound are better or worse. And so we get into this really nice cycle, working closely with chemistry uh, to optimize the molecules to hopefully get to the point where we have a drug that could help humans. Because of the scale of our technology, you know, looking at hundreds of thousands of uh, proteins in a cell or solution, uh, we really are able to look at subpopulations that would have been swamped by the mean or we can look at really rare events that occur because we can see so many proteins. So something that was very hard to capture before, we can capture because we're looking at so many things all at the same time. It's sort of an ideal time because the data management capability has expanded so dramatically. We're approaching on the order of a petabyte of data a day. Managing data flows of that at that level when you have sub millisecond time resolution and are visualizing hundreds of thousands of protein motion events. That requires a very sophisticated data management capability. It's a ton of data. We generate uh, volumes of, of data. But I think that's what's powerful about ICON is that embedded within our engineering group is we have a really strong team of software engineers. We can use that purposeful integration of engineering um, and research to really push the boundaries of drug discovery. In order to be useful for drug discovery, we knew that we were going to have to test a tremendous number of compounds against a significant number of targets. And when you do that multiplication, it turns out that, that that's quite a, a large amount of data. So we built out an automation in the software group that was able to write the code and, and build the hardware that allowed us to practice this single molecule tracking assay 24 hours a day. Over the last year, we've really progressed our drug discovery and development pipeline. We now have programs in the clinic where uh, patients are being treated. Um, and our research efforts have drugs that are moving towards the clinic, and this is very exciting. And much of this work has been supported by our purposeful integration of science and engineering, which has allowed us to build tools that, that uh, enable this drug discovery and development process. As we built out our single molecule tracking platform, we realized we had the accuracy and precision to identify subtle changes in protein diffusion. Uh, we reasoned that this could allow us to monitor protein uh, conformation and interactions in an, a biophysical setting. For this, we purify proteins to picomolar concentrations 
And this gives us the ability then to resolve single protein motion events in solution. We find that protein motion in a solution like this can be affected by uh, conformation, by stability, by aggregation, and by protein-protein interactions. Importantly, we can also monitor drug interactions through this biophysical modality. To our knowledge, this is the first demonstration of not monitoring protein motion in solution. So based on our own positive experience with the uh, technology, we formed Icon Systems. Uh, we felt that uh, this should be broadly valuable to the community and in fact uh, feel responsibility uh, for allowing access to more researchers. Our platform has turned out to be so much more versatile than I had ever imagined. When we began, we were trying to track the motion of a few proteins in living cells, uh, and we were pleased that we had some level of resolution. We've gone to a point where we typically analyze hundreds of thousands or even millions of cells. The broad range of problems that we could potentially address is dramatically amplified by improvements in large language models and the application of machine learning to the analysis of these data. That has opened the world for us. My belief is that that is applicable not only in the area of drug discovery, which is first and foremost what we're trying to do, but also in the totality of the natural sciences, exploring the outside world. So fundamentally, I am eager to see these tools advance to the point where scientists all over the world, in academic centers and in industry, can make use of them to answer the most important questions that face biologists. That, in fact, is a profound legacy that ICON could inherit.